right, guys, come in, come in. It's time to start. I didn't have an education background at all, but I knew I was really interested in teaching math. So Math America was great because it allowed me to get the education background in a year and then go right into teaching math. Um, and since that was all paid for, then it was even better. All right, we're going to get the do now work up. Also, I knew I wanted to come to New York City after college. And so to be able to teach math in New York City and get an education background was just like everything I needed all in one program. You get to do your education courses first, and then you start teaching. A lot of programs, I feel, do them at the same time. But I feel that I really got to focus on my getting my master's and all my education classes and do student teaching and all of that. And now I'm in the classroom, so I can just focus right. on teaching. So number one, we have x equals 7. And it's checked. It's right. Coming from Nebraska, it was a very homogeneous environment. And so coming to New York, it's just so much diversity. So many different types of people in different languages and different cultures all mixed together. I've always wanted to be a teacher. Um, and I wanted to be a teacher where I was needed most. What I, I figured some type of urban setting, some, some bigger city where uh, students sometimes tend to fall through the cracks is where I wanted to be. And I found out about Math for America. They give you a pretty big stipend. Aside from that, they pay for your master's degree, which is you know, phenomenal. And then while you're teaching for the first four years, they give you stipends on top of your teaching salary. So all this money, I think it totals to $90,000 over five years, plus the degree, plus, uh, plus the support. I mean, money's great, obviously, but the support. It's the time and effort that they put into us. They invest a lot of time and a lot of money. And I think we see that and we feel that difference and we try to make that difference when we get into the classroom. We need to come up with an equation for this problem. But before we even have an equation, we have to have a variable. We're getting students to be a little more involved in math without being afraid of it because for a lot of us, we enjoy math. We don't just do it because it's something that we're good at. These students get excited. That's one of the great things about mathematics. It can really show somebody how intelligent they are. M equals the total amount of money you spent. I love talking about math all day, every day. And, and I love that it's kind of, a, kind of a performance, kind of a show. Like I'm an entertainer. 45 cents? For 70 minutes and the new audience comes in and I'm an entertainer so again. We shop where Katerina shops. We could buy a carton of orange juice for $1.45. I think we should go. I love it. New York is great. There's shows, there's sports teams. There's always something happening. There's always some, something to do. One thing I love about New York, all of the culture opportunities that I definitely didn't have um, access to before coming from Nebraska. And then I come here and the, the concerts and the Broadway theater and all the events that happen in Central Park, all the free events in the summer that I get to take advantage of now that I'm here. Being a teacher in New York, uh, I can really affect students, both short-term and long-term, I feel. And Math for America is, has more than prepared me to really make a difference in the lives of, of these students. And I thank them so much for it.